Hello, today we're going to demonstrate what you know about moments already using a simple demonstration with a ruler, a matchbox, a couple of 20 cent pieces and a couple of 5 cent pieces. If you could please get these for yourself, stop the video and come back with them. Okay, so we're going to use the ruler as a beam for a seesaw and a matchbox as a fulcrum. Assuming our beam is a uniform weight, and so its force acts down in its centre, we can see that the fulcrum can hold it up at the centre point. Now, usually when you have a seesaw, as you probably know from experience, we're going to say we have two people here, person one and person two. And person one might get on the seesaw over here, and when they do, the seesaw tips down. And what children don't know, but what we know, is that that's because this person here has a line of force acting straight down through here. And that line of force has a perpendicular line back to the pivot point. And together those two things create a moment, a twisting action in this direction, which is the clockwise direction and we call it the negative direction. So usually then what happens because of that twisting motion, another person then goes and gets on the other side of the seesaw and they shuffle around a bit until they get themselves balanced. They try and balance. And when they balance, we can see that's because the moment in this direction is equal to the moment in that direction. The, count the clockwise negative moment twisting that way is equal to the counterclockwise moment in the other direction. Now, let's say that this person here, which does happen in, a, um, in real life, one person decides to move in person's going to move into four away. Now, what's going to happen to the seesaw? So what happens, of course, is that person's end tips up because they have decreased their distance. So now their moment, which is going down in the clockwise direction, is actually overwhelmed by the moment of the person on the other side whose moment is going in the counterclockwise direction. So clockwise is overwhelmed by counterclockwise and the seesaw tips up. Now usually what happens then is someone else gets on and sits pretty close to the person who's moved in. Which once again balances the moments. And the reason that works is because there's a force, sorry there's a total force due to their total weight times their distance now balances the force times distance on the other side. So what if we now make our system a little bit more complex? Say that it's like in the olden days and there's a wedge in the middle of the seesaw. It's been put there so that people can push it when they're standing up. So imagine that a person comes along and pushes this seesaw, say with the one newton force here, at a distance one unit from the fulcrum. Okay, you can see it's going to make the seesaw tip in the anti-clockwise or the positive direction. Someone presses here, there is an overall moment in the counterclockwise or positive direction. Of course, if someone else came and pushed exactly in the opposite and equal direction at the same distance it would make no difference and it wouldn't tip the ruler. Now what I'd like you to do is to spend some time moving your 20 cent pieces and 5 cent pieces up and down your ruler. And the main thing to realize from all of this is that when you see a system whether the the beam is this way or this way or horizontal if everything is perpendicular forces and 
vertical and horizontals, it's very easy to work it out. It's just like a complicated seesaw system.